After the pandemic, what happened to our country is a, a crisis within a crisis. The pandemic created a lot of damage to our education system and most importantly to learner outcomes. So because of that, we proposed a bill, the ARAL program, Academic Recovery and Accessible Learning Program. And this bill aims to come up with a national learning recovery program. And the special feature of this bill is a DepEd can now use college students, para-teachers, volunteers to launch a national tutoring program in three very important subjects language, which is reading, math, and science. Other measures that we are um, discussing in the Senate is a mental health and well-being promotions law that will strengthen mental health in our schools, but we lack guidance counselors. Another bill that we are discussing in the Senate is what we call the Batang Magaling Act. Basically, our senior high school students are not work ready and not college ready. Uh, this bill aims to address that. One of the recommendations that we came out is to already embed the NC certification in senior high school. And the other one is Basic Education and Early Childhood Alignment Act. Early Childhood is a very special program in our country wherein the policies are dictated nationally but the implementation is done locally. One of the key features of this bill is to address the structural problems in our early childhood program. And lastly, I just want to update everyone on the Education Commission 2. Basically, we had a series of meetings for the last three, four months. Uh, basically, the basic goal of the Education Commission is to improve learner outcomes. At the end of the day, what we want is our PISA grades improves, our learner outcomes improves, our children can, can be gainfully employed. So with that, once again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for inviting me to this uh, very important discussion. Good night, folks.